Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the 1804 Show. I'm your host, Dollar Will. And this is episode 70. You know, I just want to say thank you all for tuning in to earlier joint. You know, had a good time, had a good feedback, everything. Means a lot that people follow me, you feel me? But... We keeping going over here. You know, we working. But yeah, we got a good episode for y'all tonight. You know, I got the the, the, the goat, Tay Box. Been knowing this dude for years, for a long time. Good, just good brother. You know, can't wait to get them on the show. Well, I hope everybody good. Just can't wait. I'm very excited to get it popping, to get it started. What's up, bro? How's it going? How's it going? Hope you're good. But yeah, go, y'all go check out that music by K Dub, man. Good project. The project slamming. Everything's good. Good production, good wordplay. They're gonna check them out. One of my favorite unsigned artists right now. But yeah, we um we working. That's one thing about me is that the grind don't stop. How y'all doing? Yeah, I'm just waiting for bro to get in. Just saw him share the video, so I'm just waiting on him to get in. So. But yeah, I'm about to bring him in now. What's up, buddy? What's good, G? Man, nothing can't call it. Man, like I said, man, welcome to the show. Man, yes, yes, eighteen oh four. Thanks for having me, baby. <laughs> man. Anytime, man. Anytime, man. You always been good people, bro. So I gotta, you know, get you on here, man. That's what's up. I like anything you doing. Keep it up. Keep it up. Most shit to come. Oh yeah, no doubt, man. Shoot, came too far now. Yeah. Yeah. What's the word, though, man? Man, nothing, man. You know, I just wanted to, you know, chat with my bro, you know, just about, you know, this crazy, crazy gang shit, you know, shooting shit been going on. So just wanted to, like, you know, get your thoughts on it. You know, we can interact on it, you know, a little bit and then think about, you know, where you came from and who you are and everything. But but mainly, you know, I, I just wanted to just touch base with you. Yeah. Oh, man, listen, this is the first games. Games don't exist for real. 
gangs even like like man the people who who gang banging right now they don't i don't think they really understand what they really doing to their brother you killing your help when you look at the at the world as a as a big picture you killing your help man just because i grew up on the south side you grew up on the north side we got a beef you never did nothing to me or nobody in my family, but I don't like you just because of where you grew up from. That don't make sense at all. So I don't, I don't, I don't respect it. Like I ain't, I, bro. I ain't never gang bang, bro. I ain't been to the joint. None of that. None of that. So I have relatives, homeboys, but I still don't see why people would put, especially when you had kids, and you out here just riding for a side of town and you don't own nothing over there? Nothing? You ain't even down about your property. What you doing? Mm -hmm. So me, now it's just to the point to where it's it's solutions, man. Like, like we, we to the age to where we probably got people who we went to school with who got kids 16, 17, who out, who out here. But we, it's time to step up to the plate. Hey, hey, man, you you know where, you, where your daughter at? Where your son at? You know, we can't just keep let, letting it go on, man. I, I shared, posted a picture, man. L little dude who got shot was 15, bro. 15. I got a 14-year-old. But I was like, damn, what can you do at 15 for somebody who want to fucking kill you? At 15, that's crazy. Right. Shit, shit like now. It just ain't no limits, man. Ain't no rules. Ain't no, you know, sit downs and stuff like that. It's just getting ridiculous, man. Cause I have a fourteen-year-old niece, man. So that resonated with me. Right, right. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think I, Saginaw is a copycat state, man. And I ain't and I ain't a city, and I ain't, I ain't afraid to say that when I say. That people was really out here doing doing some gang shit. They don't even know where it's from. I hear it's a lot of bloods in Saginaw. It's crits in Saginaw now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like, what? For real? Yeah, it's crazy. Where, where, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Man, you right. Saginaw also. Niggas want to be like Detroit. You hear it in the music, you hear it in the, I'm talking about, like, we have no identity, and it's a crap, man, I didn't believe in the crap in the bucket shit for a long time, until I see what's going on on Facebook. When I get on there, everybody bashing, or mad because this person scamming, or this person doing that, or you ain't get it out the mud, you know what I'm saying, it's, man, man the mentality is fucked up, bro. It's a real bad mentality, man. It's a it's a cloud over the city like a motherfucker, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I've always been the type of person to always show love, man. Cause I'm neutral, bro. Like because I see you as my I see bro. you as a brother. You know, I always saw you as a brother, like just every time I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, man, because every time I see you, man, I always, you know, it was always love, bro. It was just I just hate when somebody who got the same color as me is you know they parents got the same color as my parents just be yeah. mean mugging me and i'm like dog like what's your problem you know what you mad for you know but you but you won't give the same energy to these proud boys and all these people that hate us and shit. like man i seen man, it was crazy bro like i seen somebody walk into a hood store with a confederate flag on and nobody put hands on them. Nobody said anything to them. Nobody stepped. But if but let me put on, you know, my Malcolm X shirt. I'm gonna be mugged or I'm gonna be ridiculed. Like, oh, what you got that on? Like, you want some attention? That, that's because we don't we don't know who the real enemy is. You know what I'm saying? We we have been brainwashed, bro. Like like super brainwashed to where you my enemy. We don't, we ain't even worried about is. You got some tough ass niggas out here in the street that a killer that that a, that a kill one of us quick, but won't 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 put hands on the proud boy. No, you know what I'm saying, you, man. Nigga ain't talking. Nigga ain't finna kill no white boy. What? 
that ain't finna happen. You know what I'm saying? But you, I can get you out the way. You know what I'm saying? But our problem is we we so jealous, man. Like Facebook, everybody life look good through Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Looks look looks good. So people is competing with shit that's going on on Facebook. Like people can't live their regular lives without you can't go on a vacation and keep your vacation private without posting it to show people I went. I was there. I ate this. <laughs> you can't eat your food. You know what right. I'm saying? Eat without taking the food no more. This is like, like man, to keep them. This is like keeping up with the Joneses times a thousand. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Where, where we at now is status, man. A lot of people who we went to school with who was, you know what I'm saying? Corn boys, nobody. She was fat. She was this. That's why bitches getting their ass did and their body did because. What what I wasn't then, I'm, I I can I can become now. So people is like like, oh you ain't got the money, bitch. You can't go you can't go get your body did. Niggas like oh nigga you, you can't go do this by Balenciagas. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a status thing, bro. It's a status thing. And just like we we, I, I, uh, we, we uh be like police, we like oh you, nigga you, you was getting bullied in school. The same, the same black people that that's around us. Oh, you was a nobody in school. Now you, you know what I'm saying? Now you that came up, little job or whatever. Now you want to show out on the nigga. You know what I'm saying? That that's all it is, man. People is just so infatuated with, with what the next person doing instead of man building wealth, like true wealth, and not having to to blow it on material things to keep up with the next person. Yeah. And I totally agree with you with that because I always been the same person. You know, I just had evolved, but it's just funny how people just, you know, nowadays it's like, man, you know, you changed from school or used to be so sweet, used to be so quiet and this and that. I don't think anybody ever heard me speak so much, you know, these days because I mainly just, you know, I move in silence, man. I don't really, you know, let everybody where I, you know, in my house or, and I live a private life, man, because I learned a long time ago is that when you broadcast your every move, then, you know what I'm saying, don't be surprised when the person that envy you or jealous of you going to come get you because, you know, you posting your location, you posting, you know, where you work and doing this the, and that, doing the most. But it's like to, to if you want to be relevant, that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. You got to give in to the, to the world. You got to become worldly. See, people be people be mad at me cuz I ain't, you know, so I don't I don't do what the world say do. Like when I when I when I learn like I'm not just walking in the truth, but knowing the truth. Like I ain't celebrating Christmas, none of them holidays and none of that type of shit. I don't that's that's worldly. Mhm. Mm so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do, do what the world say do, and, and I move according to, to my beat. Yeah, same here, man. You know, I, I don't get that holiday pay, but that's as far as I'm celebrating <laughs> that time of the half. Yeah, that's of it. But of course, but yeah, of course, I'm definitely, definitely gonna do that. Yeah, of course, yeah, gotta do that, but. Just, when you know better, you do better. And I actually start to understand that now. When you read more, you can't just be, man, you can't be stuck. If you're reading and comprehending what you're reading, you can't still be on the same stuff. You can't be. No. You know, that's ignorance. Ignorance. And it's a, it's a lot of people out here ignorant. Like, when you tell, man, when you tell tell people like you were saying about the streets man it's it's tough man it's tough man i just want to get niggas like registered to get their cpls like if you ain't got no felonies or nothing right now like like that's the only route to start trying to help the uh youth man we gotta we gotta start some like getting them registered okay you want to get a gun okay we're gonna get you registered do that. You ain't got no felonies. We got to start holding credit seminars. You ain't got to go to college. If your credit, you know, if, if they would have taught credit and finances in school, 
ain't no telling where, where a nigga be. You know what I'm saying? If it was all, all about credit, if we was playing the credit game from 18 and now, I'd be a millionaire playing with credit, just just knowing the ins and outs on that. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. And it's just so crazy how, like, so many of our parents messed our credit up before we even got into the world. You know, I'm, I'm not saying mine or yours or anything, mm -hmm. but I'm just speaking in general. Yeah. Like, that's right. That's right. and I just like, you know, that's the most selfish thing that you can do. Like, why would you temper with something so, you know, sacred? Because they, because they didn't know. They didn't mm -hmm. know. A lot of parents and grandparents still learn. They don't, man, didn't really know how, how credit worked or, or none, none of that worked. So we can't really fault them. It's just when you know, you do better than what they did. So you know not to put nothing in your, in your kid name, niece name, or whatever, whatever, because you know it can hurt them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but back then... <laughs> Man, I had to convince <clears throat> my great it never had a credit card. Never. Never had a credit debit card, card like still cash their check. Look at stuff. Like, what the hell? Like, damn, you that far. <laughs> but, never, never never done it. Don't 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 mess with don't mess with it like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I had to I, you, you, you got a show earlier. I seen you doing your thing earlier too. Oh yeah, man. Thanks, bro. You know, like yeah. I just, I just enjoy this, man. This is, you know, therapeutic for me, man. Just because, because how how we gonna, how we gonna take it farther? Oh man, we yeah. we going farther. You know, I believe. Yeah. Like I never underestimate the power of the internet, man. Because this super information highway, bro. There's no telling who watching you know, my platform and this yeah. and that, you know, and I'm really touching people, bro. And just people just, you know, even at my job, man, you know, like doctors and nurses and stuff, man, they want me to win and stuff. And I say, if I ever need yeah. anything, just let them know. So just let them, them real people in your corner. You know what I'm saying? You you need those type of people in, in your corner. You definitely, definitely do. How you uh when it when it comes to what's going on in the world with all the social justice and and and, and stuff like that, where 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 do you stand? Did this this last the last major case of murder I uh seen was with um the little young girl that the police just just had had, had killed uh what in Ohio or whatever that was at. Oh okay yeah. How how you how you felt about that? Well, to be honest with you, man. I feel like it's messed up because I don't believe that yeah. anybody deserves to get murdered. But also, if, but right. if, I, I just hate that our people has this stigma of putting halos and angel wings on everybody that gets killed by white police officers. But when it's one of us, nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be like, rest right. in peace to my nigga or rest in peace to my girl. And then three days later, they forgot about you know what I'm saying? So, but but when a white cop do it, all of a sudden yeah. they they paint it as um minors. You know what I'm saying? They paint it as this yeah. public figure, like this my mystical creature or something. And I think that we should okay. stop doing now, that. Do do you do you feel inter entertainers is 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 leaders? Do you feel your Jay Z's, your Beyonces, your athletes, LeBron James? Do do you feel they are the our leaders no okay okay i feel the same way because i had a uh i commented on a dog what's, what's the dude name what was his name again the, the, the uh shine the shine or whatever uh -huh. the hey hey yeah. you know, i commented on, on one of his lives and he was talking and he he was calling for a lot of local people who got a little following or a little clout or whatever whatever mm -hmm. And I, I just I mean like no, entertainers is not leaders. Why is you you know what I'm saying? He had a big uh, bro, like are you serious? Yeah. I would never look at a Daisy just because you either have more or whatever it is, you might have information, but you was not a leader. I'm like I was telling Malcolm, these people was not entertainers. Mm -hmm. The leaders killed 
was not entertainers. So you looking for some entertainers to to walk with you, hold hands with you, and do this and do that? You calling for the wrong people to step up. That's what I feel like. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like the real people that, that's going to do the work is it, 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 not on camera. Right. That's how I feel. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? But I agree with you because yeah. cause Dr. King, a lot of people don't know that Dr. King lived in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the yeah. slums. And he was with the people and stuff. So yeah. I just explain to people that. No. Like I, I know dog got a lot of sense, but that entertaining entertainers being leaders was just was just like mm, no. I understand they have the influence and they can make people make votes and shit sway different ways and do this, but first being I wouldn't consider him as being a leader for me. So that that's how I took that. Yeah, dog dog he, he got he got some and stuff, stuff he's doing, but at the same time. He wasn't, he wasn't trying to hear that shit. That <laughs> yeah, that's how. A... Yeah, tap, tap, tap me in, bro. Yeah, we can talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. he just, very, I just, like I said, I respect everybody, you know, um, opinions and stuff like that, you know. And, but me, me personally, you know, you know me, man, I've been speaking this knowledge and speaking about certain things. And I don't expect people to agree with me with everything I say, because that's not my job. My job is to make you think. My job is to, you know, for you to build curiosity so you can go see if, if so I'm lying you, to you. You will uh, believe the earth flat. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. Yeah. I just want to see what you I do, bro. Yeah, what's up? You know, what's up? <laughs> and I also believe, and I also believe that, um, you know, like the maps and everything like that, everything isn't, it's supposed to be. Everything isn't what we was taught because we allow certain people like foreigners to tell us about, you know, our history. We allow them to take right. away our culture, our history and everything. Because how come when every black person does a DNA test, they got, a higher percentage of Nigeria. Yeah. And I ain't come from no Nigeria. I see. You know, I ain't, I never yeah. came from no Africa, bro. Because I can prove it, bro. That's what you call family records. You know what I'm saying? Because all you got to do yeah. is check your family I, history. How can you prove it? All you got to do is okay. just check you your family history. You know, like the census and stuff like that. Because when they, you know, even back then, you know what I'm saying, they was just, you know, doing census records and they had to write it down. Yeah. And then also, um, okay. I, would, I would just recommend, like, if you still have a grandmother and stuff like that, because I don't have any grandma, I have any more grandparents left, but just, you know, holler, okay. holler at one of your grandparents and they would tell you. Yeah. Because back then, they okay. weren't taught about slavery. So, so, so you was so, so you, you were Indian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cher Cherokee, okay. man. Cherokee and everything. I, see, I, 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 that's what I, I thought I, I was getting. I thought that's what you was coming from. See, I identify with being an Israelite. Yeah. I, I, so, I mean, okay. I, I mean, we all of that. You know, just when you think about it, you know, it's just how we black and we Americans. That's just how it was, you know, back then. You know, there, there was black Egyptians, there was white Egyptians and everything like that. But at the end of the day, um, we just allow outsiders to tell us who we are. And, that's right, yeah. And I just, and that's yeah. dangerous because you pretty much, you know, claim is something that doesn't claim you. You know, when the last time an African claimed us, you know what I'm saying? The only time they claim us when it's some propaganda going on about going back home to Ghana or, you know, Libya and all that. And, and, and the people that go, founded Libya. Go visit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would go, but that's not where I'm from. You know, that's not my roots. You know, my roots are here. You know, my, right. my ancestor who started my oh. family tree came from Virginia. So I'm trying to find out who he was because he was a young blood and that only means one thing yeah. <laughs> so 
I was just <laughs> going, you know, check that out first. And then, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm going to travel, you know what I'm saying? Because travel brightens your scope. So mm -hmm. I'm going to check that out. Right, right, right. Hey, so I said to get rid of the problem in America with all the, with all the killings, all the shootings, you, you know what, what the government should do? Since niggas love the government, so much <laughs> depend on the government. Right. You know what the government you know what the government should do? What's that? The government should send them all overseas, send them to Iraq, send them to them places that they're fighting at. You niggas like shoot. Mm -hmm. Go over there. That that's who they should have front line. There's some good shooters over here, man. Man, they ain't about it, man. They 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 would sh shake up. They would shook, you know. Cause there's a little they is they with, they with it they they ready they ready they 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 got to be ready cause all man all this senseless stuff that's going on man oh man this is crazy it is it's like it's like death don't even it's like you heard such and such as like it don't it don't even it don't even hurt us back it don't even hurt us back when you just find it out like damn somebody like again. <laughs> It's just, it's like it's normal. On top of this uh, Corona shit, th this shit definitely just like, damn, this is normal, man. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and uh, uh, and I'm gonna be honest with you, like, shit, I should, I, I, I would hate to kill anybody. You know what I'm saying? Because that shooting shit, bro, like, you gotta be like heartless to take a life. That simple, you know what I'm saying? And and me, I always have a big heart. I couldn't imagine killing somebody. That's because you was born in when, the 80s? 88. Yeah, you was born in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Anything after that is, is gone. But they playing the video game out here, bro. Mm -hmm. They keeping scope. They keeping scope. They keeping scope. Each side, watch. Just watch. Listen to what I'm saying. They keeping score. Each side, oh damn, you got a button. They getting the button, man. I'm talking about they keeping score on on this shit. It's a game. They think they own whatever grand theft or whatever you get more lives coming to motherfucker. They ain't really picturing death like that. They ain't really seeing what it's doing to other people, the people around them. They they just they they just going and it, and it's fun. Fast money, fast whatever, whatever. And a, a lot of niggas hustling only just for only for the image. You know what I'm saying? The dog boy, like, you ain't even doing nothing for real. No. It's just, it's, it's just for an image. The little females like it. Ooh, man, nigga don't want, want no, no real money, no slow money or consistent money, stock money or none of that. It's to look like you got some money or to look like it. It's the fake, it's the fake until you make it syndrome. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You know? Yeah. And... I just always been true to myself, and even when I even yeah. when I was like, you know, outside, because a lot of people ain't even left the porch, man. But yet, everybody a tough guy now. Everybody got something to prove and this and that. But there's nothing wrong with that. Like to me, I respect the nerves, man. Like the nerves with the pocket dispenser and with the glasses on their, t you know, the tape on their glasses and shit like that because they. Those yeah, guys. they real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and those are the ones who right. that these street niggas and these hood niggas, man, working for. You know what I'm saying? Cause they about their money, they about their future, they about they they business, they progress. And I always been in the books, man. I always just been disciplined because I always wanted a better life, you know, because I had the right. opportunity to see the world, you know what I'm saying, travel to different places, live different places and meet people. And and I just realized you know, because a lot of people just think that Saginaw is just, you know, like there's no hope in this and that. But I lived in bigger cities with a high murder rate and, you know, more destruction and chaos. But I feel like, you know, if 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 we, you know, what I'm saying all come together, then we can take over. But see, that, that that's the thing. If you done if you done been privileged enough to, to leave Saginaw and see something else, then that's cool. But a lot of people don't have that opportunity. A lot of people ain't had family out of town or ever ever lived anywhere, man. It's, it, believe it or not, it's people who 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 ain't been past Detroit, past you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. It's people here that ain't left, ain't no hope. 
What can you offer the people who ain't? See, this all I know. It's some niggas out there, man, who, see, I don't want to hustle. I want to rob a nigga. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, this all I know. This all I got. How do you reach that person? Man. And get that person home. You know what I'm saying? It's tough, bro. And I used to think like, man, come on, man. I I was raised single parent household. Mama worked here, mama worked there. You know what I'm saying? And still still wiggle. Like I said, that's that's that strength from the eighties though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was you. Yeah, man. It's just it's a different it's a different time now. I I, I would say and nothing really, you know, changed, but I would say that it just got worse, you know. But that's why it's people like you and I, you know, existing. Because cause, cause I feel like, you know, as far as your hustle, man, you a hustling motherfucker, man. Like, you know, you always, always was doing something. You always was impacting um anybody. Yeah. Appreciate it. Got man, got to man. I try to stay, stay quiet about a lot of stuff I'm doing because I ain't, I ain't really, I ain't doing no more than than, than the next person, bro. I'm just remaining humble. Yeah. Remaining humble, bro. That that that's that's it. The, the number one thing, bro. And just loving on the people who love me. That's it. That that'll get you a long way. Cut, cut bullshit off and just try to grow from within. You know what I'm saying? Just, just you know what I'm saying branch branching out branching out it may not always be a good thing like i I had friends who I came up with that was once upon a time doing better than me, and now I see them damn you know what I'm saying niggas you know what I'm saying it, it's it's different it's different like damn you know what I'm saying the in high school you was the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I see what you did <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah but, but see but Man, I was taking the slow route while niggas was off the porch faster than me. You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm thinking, damn, I'm, 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 I was a late bloomer to a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so I just, man, be humble, man. I don't, I don't do nothing. Shit. This, you got, you got me on this right here. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I'm really nothing. A lame. I consider myself as a lame. Well, I'm a, I'm a lame. I don't man, me too, man. Do me nothing. too, bro. Shoot, you know, I still have, I still have my, 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 my nerd qualities, but that's what makes me who I am. You know, I, I, I seek knowledge. Yeah, and I ain't trying to compete with nobody, man. If anything, you know, I, I try to, you know, get with a little bit of everybody who's doing something, and I stay around winners. I don't want to associate with losers, man. And, and, and I have so much just qualities about myself to the point that, you know, I just want to be able to, you know, grab a young person and whoever, like, you know, doing some crazy shit, you know, just talk to them. Because, you know, I wish somebody would have talked to me, like, you know, mostly. Because right. nowadays, you know, these parents, man, um, just pretty much glorify the, the bad behavior, the toxicity, and they don't really check them. <laughs> You know, cause I, cause man. I just heard this one chick, man. You know, some niggas was fighting outside, and a mama, was, you know, instead of telling me like, "Get your ass in this house," it was like, "Yeah, man, knock his ass out and whoop his ass." And this, you know, I'm just like, "Damn!" Like, <laughs> shit, my mama would have grabbed me yeah. and throw me in the damn um, room and pow, pow. <laughs> I'd have been brand new yeah. tomorrow, said, but. It's just, it's just been crazy. What the hell is you always doing? Right. We don't have that no more. It's, you know, it's, it's it's more, you know, clapping instead of clapping. It's the, mu it's the music, bro. Mm -hmm. It's in the music. Much as we love rap, hip hop, or any of that, like, like bro, I, I know a lot of our, our flaws and downfalls, bro, but you know what I'm saying? That would be just be just. Because I, I still listen to it. I still, like, I hear, I, I hear the shit. It's, it's programming, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot of the shit is because of the the house niggas they got in place. You know what I'm saying? So we go off of that, and our kids listen to the music. We watch the TV shows. We watch 
you know what I'm saying? A lot of this shit got gay shit in it. A lot of this shit, you know what I'm saying? We we like the girl on girl. We like the, we, you know what I'm saying, bro? This shit, we lust for a lot of this shit that they give us, and, and that's what happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some single females who raising their kid, you don't want your son to be soft. So now your son acting like Cool Shiesty or whoever it is, and you know what I'm saying? It, we, we push our kids in, in, in those type of directions and shit. Yeah, and I can and I can admit I was guilty for a lot of shit because I just wish that you know I could have been a, a good example, you know. But mm -hmm. I was there, you know, like with as far as being an uncle and everything, because. It's just funny because nowadays when, you know, women meet me, they like, you don't got no kids. Like, what's wrong with you? And everything like, damn, I can't have no standards. Like, <laughs> I can't have no wife. Oh, like, damn. You want to know, know if that motherfucker works? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, shoot. I, 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 shot up some, I shot up some clubs, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. She don't, she, don't, she don't appreciate that. She looking like, what the fuck? She well, yeah. So, yeah, now you want something that come come with baggage. You know what I'm saying? She don't know what's good. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, it's just, nowadays, it's just, you know, for the black man, bro, like, it's just so bad. Like, because we get blamed for everything, right? Because just like, you know, we meet. We out. Yeah. We out number. Women out number, bro. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing we can do. Yeah. We lost. Yeah. The system, the system favor them. Everything we lost, bro. <laughs> we lost. Yeah. It's like, and it's funny because I never try to, you know, give up on my sisters and stuff like that. Cause shit, I come from a black woman, so naturally I'm gonna love my black woman. But it's just a lot of stuff, man. I be trying to just talk to my sisters about, you know, shit. I got a sister, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's hard. It's hard. hard on the black woman. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard, but I don't. They don't do nothing to take the pressure off of them either. No. Yeah. Just like you know, what I'm saying niggas don't do nothing to take the pressure off niggas. The, the stereotypes and none of that either. But the one, the black woman don't 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 take nothing off her either. She man. So you want you a foreign? You want you what? What you want? Man, I don't want. I don't want no foreign. I want somebody who actually understands. <laughs> And can live, yeah. and can pretty much differentiate, you know, between a man and a nigga. Like, cause I'm not no nigga. I I even hate being called that. Cause to me, I feel like you really insult to me. Cause I don't even fit in with niggas like that. Cause niggas look at me and they like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just can't interpret what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But but you as a man, you understand what I'm saying, but. If I talk like this to a nigga, man, it would be like Charlie Brown to him. Like, you know, what the fuck is he talking about? You know, got my head yeah, hurting. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, nigga, that's your brain. That's your subconscious talking. But it just be, you know, like that. But I love my sisters, man. You know, I would never, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying that I haven't, you know, dated outside my race. But I want my children to look like me. Yeah. Yeah. So you know you know been outside the race? Yeah, yeah. Like one of my I would say in my early twenties, you know, I tried some, you know, experimenting, but I won't I, You was in love? Was you in love? Yeah. I was. It just didn't work out. That's what you know, her parents um, you know, told her, you know, I I don't want this nigger in my house and this and that. So I was like, damn. And, and it don't matter how polite you talk, at the end of the day, no matter how many degrees you got, at the end of the day, you still love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, that, you, you want that type of time, no, no, matter, no matter what, bro, no matter what, no matter what we do, you know what I'm saying? Because, bro, what we ain't realize, bro, bro, we still in captivity, bro. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? No matter how free you think you is financially or whatever, whatever, is still rules bro, that you must abide by. So you got to know how to how to wiggle through the cracks and, and make this your best life. You trying to make it, and you just got to know the truth, bro. You just got to know the truth.
and, and, and teach the truth. You know what I'm saying? Unless you decide to do do something else. Unless you're gonna leave. Either you're gonna leave the plantation or you're gonna you're gonna buy by these rules, bro. Cause there's rules over here. America ain't playing. Man, bro, to be honest with you, between me and you, you know, I don't like biscuits, so I ain't trying to eat no butter biscuits. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't even eat biscuits, man. So yeah. I never been about, you know, just selling out or throwing my people under the bus because, you know, we have a habit of that. Like, we tell our secrets to... For one million, $1 million. Man, no. You put on the dress? No. For a million. No. For, a mi for a million dollars, right? No. That's you know, that's what... That's what's up. If, you know. Now, if I see you, eighteen oh four, take <laughs> off, and they say, you know what, you know what, you know what, it'd be good if you come on in, acting like such. For me, you are gonna be like, shit, nigga, nigga, I'm still a suck. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey, man, to to, to each his own, man. I ain't, I ain't even mad at nobody who did it. Even you know, I, I know what they trying to push, but I, man, hey, do do you? I can't even. I can't even be. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I wanted to. Can't I, I wanted to ask you. You remember Hollywood Shuffle, the movie? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Remember, remember, yeah. remember what his grandma said? They still work at the post office. That's how <laughs> I feel. Well, yeah. Grandma was starting to. Hey, you let me that. Uh, I'll put you where that that wasn't it. Was what? Cause I tell, yeah, bro. I tell people this all the time. Like, I don't knock what you do, but as long as you able to sleep at night, as long as you able to, you know, sleep peacefully and not toss a turn, cause your conscience get into you. You know. I, st bro. I still oh, try to. If I don't like Yo, it, real shit. I just don't condone it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta be. I ain't doing it with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't one of those. So yeah, it's it's tough because I got I got people around me who who doing shit that like like my um my uh brother is a you know what I'm saying he all the way off into you know what I'm saying church and you know what I'm saying I don't do everything he do, but at the same time. I support it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's a difference, you know. And that's what people don't people don't understand, you know what I'm saying? Just because I don't do what you doing and what you like you look like like you say you the you know you an Indian. And I think something different, but that don't mean I mean you can't, you know what I'm saying, interact with each other. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. That's the you know, and that's the thing. Cause a lot of people don't really get it. Is that the police officer, the bailiff, the CEO, and the judge? They they have yeah. different, you know, occupations, but they all all on the yeah. same side. All on the same side. Different protocols. Different man. I, I'm talking to a government agent the other day, and I'm like, you can look this information up that I'm giving you. Yeah, let me get that. And the the agencies ain't getting along. You you can't you can't pull this information with y'all all the government. Mm -hmm. What's going? On? You know. Yeah, it just. What? What you sipping on? What's that? Oh, man. Cranberry. Yeah, cranberry juice. <laughs> yeah. Good. good cranberry. Yeah. yeah I've, yeah, you know, I'm 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 gonna get lit, you know, after this, but I'm I try to be professional. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, but other than that, um, I want I want you to talk about, you know, how you start the slap kitchen, how you started that, and what was the motivation behind that? Man, slap kitchen came about because man, I, I've been I've been cooking for a minute. Oh, shit. 20 years been cooking, man. I've been cooking for a minute. But uh, Slap Kitchen came about because I didn't want to 
I ain't want I ain't want to do no no clothing line, no shirts, no none of that. So I I, I just I just analyzed what everybody w w w was uh, doing in the city around me. So I'm like, man, you know what? Ain't nobody doing. Ain't nobody cooking every day. Mm -hmm. You know, ain't nobody cooking every day, especially cooking like I'm cooking and how I'm able to do it. So I hollered at uh. I went to holler at uh, Trey at a uh, prolific, prolific Trey. You no, know, Trey made my bottles for the uh, for the drink guys. Mm -hmm. I drink. I was doing the drink guy stuff first. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Trey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, prolific Frank. Yeah. Holler that Trey. Trey got me together on, on that, and man, I was pushing the bottles, and then the, the food, the food, the food just followed. Man, just just followed after that, and then we, it was just a, a calling for it. I, I I enjoyed doing it, and the re the rest was history. It was just everybody showed up and showed out. Yeah, man, I still gotta try that too, man. Mm. Yeah, I uh, I cut back on doing it because I I'm, I'm been looking at at a couple buildings, a couple buildings now. So I, I cut back on doing. I'm letting I, I see everybody else who doing their thing. Shout out to everybody else who doing that doing their thing. Right on. Shout out to my man Rio at Expensive Taste. Uh, shit, it's a couple of people doing 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 it, doing it. But yeah, it's it's gonna be back. Slap Kitchen, the city is gonna be a Slap Kitchen bar and grill. Yeah, man, coming, coming. I can't wait, man. And, and night up in there, you got to be live in there like 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 this. Podcast jumping, anything gonna be going on, bro? But yeah, Slap Kitchen did boy when i tell you yeah slap kitchen was that yeah that oh no you bought them drinks for me you had brought them couple drinks for me. man yeah. how them drinks were. i was fucked up <laughs> yeah. See, I drank... you did get a couple yeah. man, i swear like i drank like one like like one bottle and then i was like man this ain't working yeah. so i was like you know down to next one man nigga i knew creep man. Creeped up on me, bro. Creeper. I ain't woke up until the next day at eleven in the morning. I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> yeah, two, of them, two, two of them a fifth. That was the fifth. You drunk the fifth, and I'm telling you, yeah. snuck up on me, yeah. man. Creeped up like the Grinch on me, bro. But that that was good, man. So, yeah, man. Because uh, I had to, I had to, um. Tell Nelson about it. I'm like, man, you better go holler at Tay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he ended up, he ended up calling me. Yeah, I, 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 got, I, got to, I got to hook up with him too. I ain't got me a shirt or a hoodie, or a nug. Yeah, yeah, Nelson. Man, yeah. we get you one, man. So you, you family, bro. No money. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't man. I ship the motherfucking drinks, man, bro. Hey, man, hey, where, bro? I've been, I've been laid back. I'm just, just checking the market. Seeing, seeing where, 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 where the market want me right now, bro. That's all. That's all I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta keep, keep switching hustles, bro. You can't just be, can't just fall in love, bro. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? No matter how much or whatever it is, bro. I just keep switching hustles. I, had, I, I went to, uh, to Delta for a minute. I was, I was in college for a minute, and I had this one motherfucking professor, and she was telling me about the. The, the eight different hustles, eight eight different incomes and, and shit mm -hmm. like that. And since then I've been I'm trying to have some here, there, there, there. That ain't working that slow, that's fast. I'm I'm, I'm trying to trying to do something. All all legal. All legal though. Because you know that's the that's the beauty thing right now. Like man, I don't see why people still sell drugs. There's no reason to sell drugs right now. No. No reason. No reason to in the game right now. No reason to try to flip your taxes, PPP, any of that right now to try to, man, there's so many legal hustles that's paying, that's paying. It's crazy. It's crazy. That would not be, that should not be a, be a nigga down for right now, trying, trying to get caught up selling drugs. That's crazy, especially right now during the pandemic. Man, there's too much money out here. Too much. Yeah. To even be trying to do that, that don't even make no sense. Man, I just, it's funny, um, a lot of people watch the world get shut down and everything, and I yeah. feel like that should have
been enough to tell anybody and let everybody know, like, whatever you was doing before, you know, it, it, it can, you know, deteriorate at a at an alarming rate. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm just now, you know, I've been, you know, pretty much, you know, working on my book. Um, I'm working on animation. I'm, I'm going to start a comic book for the show and got the mixtape, you know, dropping and working on the merchandise okay. right now, you know, website, you know, so I see what you mean, you know what I'm saying? But right now, this this podcast was just like the beginning of the nucleus, you know, but I'm expanding. You know, one day I want to have my own fragrance. I want to have my own um, clothing line, you know, just making sure that everybody gets the chance to, to see, Man. you know, just from an idea that I had at work about it. Man, you got you got to have a round table talk, man. You got to pull in investors, man, because a, a lot of stuff you might, you don't have to do by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We, we, we can definitely talk about that, though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Man, you know, I wanted that to take right. notes, you know. I'm always a student when it comes to something I don't know about. You know, I'm always listening. Because you are, you are definitely pioneering right now. Around here, you, you definitely pioneering right now. Got got to give you that. Thank you, dog. Got 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 to give you that. Got got to got to. If anybody else don't give you that, I'm gonna give give you that right now. Definitely, definitely, bro, for sure. Yeah, keep keep this, keep this for sure. Cause you you can you can give a voice, you can give a light to a situation that a, a lot of people scared to do. You know what I'm saying? Cause if, if I would if if I was if I was able really willing to you know what I'm saying like I said you you got me out of character right now <laughs> by even, you know first switch you know what I'm saying this a lot mm -hmm. but if I was to do that bro I'd be addressing bro you can address some issue man what you could talk about what's around you bro and clearly it'll be tough tough subjects tough conversation a lot of conversations that you know what I'm saying questions people ain't willing to answer you know what I'm saying? i have no answer to if you really just talk to your people as in man what is we doing like what is you know you got you got friends who watching ain't watching on you you see they like really you know what i'm saying really this is what we doing mm -hmm. but but keep keep this for sure for sure come with the animations the all that and i'm with it I'm with it, bro. We finna get it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. And as soon as your, you know, thing reopens, man, I'm gonna be the first one at the the, the red carpet. If you have a red carpet, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah, too. no doubt, man. I love I love to support my peoples, man. Yep, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate you for sure, for sure, bro. Rocking with me, man. Always, always been one hundred. Always been solid, man. Since I was trying to get you to do some music, inbox you about some music. Long, long time ago, you had the studio. You had the studio shit. Was trying to see if you still had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. yeah I'm, um, you know, getting back into that, man. You know, I'm, I'm really, you know, trying to get a little track, man, because you know I got a compilation, so I can't let everybody represent my company. And I don't represent it, you know. I ain't no DJ Cali or nothing like that. Or no yeah. DJ Cassidy, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a track, yeah. but I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on that uh, mixtape hard though. So I'm just trying to find like the, the right message, you know, subject matter. But other than that, it's just it's it's okay. it's, it's banging, man. Because I got a little bit of everybody who ever came on the show, you know, sent me music and stuff, man. It's 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 the streets is gonna go crazy. So I can't wait. Drop, drop a host, a, drop a second on compilation. Yeah, I am. I am. That's what I'm doing. That, 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 that'll be nice. That'll be nice if somebody can put something to get, man. Everybody who got some money is, say, is saving money and it's not growing. And it's not growing. If you ain't doing nothing with the money you got, people, and it's just sitting, it's not, it's not doing you no good. Mm-hmm. You have to invest that. You got to you got to move that money around. You got to move it around. It's a lot of people with money in Saginaw that ain't doing nothing with it. 
So we got to tap in with the man, bro, with people who are willing to invest. We got to get with investors, bro. Thinkers. We need a think tank in Saginaw, bro. A think tank. Like real deal thinkers, people who you know, who why put that together and, and, and let, let's uh do that. Do that. All right, bro. These niggas ain't thinking. <laughs> I, I'm with yeah. it, man. So, think, think tank, yeah. All right. I'm with it. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. Um, do you have any um, final thoughts before we wrap this up, fam? Uh, no, I ain't really got too much, too much to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? Love all, respect all. Mm-hmm. All way out the way. Hey, be safe. Be safe to everybody. Be safe, man. You know, love who love you. I like that, man. That's you it. should get that copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, love who love you, man? Because it's it's a cold, it's a cold world out here, bro. For sure, man. I appreciate you having me, though, bro. Man. Get with me. Yeah. I'll put you in a minute. Yeah, bro. Anytime, man. And you have a blessed night. All right. You too, All bro. Right, bro. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.